Welcome back to our Reforger series. Um, I think in this next sort of stream of videos, we're gonna dive into the Game Master mode and not necessarily to create levels or dive into how Game Master works too specifically, but just to explore what's available in Reforger right now. Uh, take a look at it, play around with some of the units, uh, get uh, re-familiarized with Evron since it's been such a long time for me. Uh, but to start, this is just sort of the map view in Game Master, and you're looking at Evron. Evron is based on an island in Croatia called Kirk, I think. It's, it's the same general shape and the same general layout, all the towns and such, uh, just not really the same size. But in terms of the Arma lore, um, Evron was first colonized by the French, so that's why there's, the towns are, uh, have French heritage. But I think it was under Russian rule after the Napoleonic era or something like that. And then it became involved in the, in the Cold War conflict between the U.S. and Russia. Um, and that's the, the setting in the original Arma series, uh, Cold War Assault. So um, in terms of geographic layout, um, you've got, you know, main road arteries running north-south throughout the whole island. You've got some... Uh, little offshoot islands here and there as well. Um, for the southern half of Evron, you have this uh, this river running through it, um, and it kind of stops midway. Um, in terms of towns, I don't think there's necessarily a capital of Evron, but you've got three main locations, St. Pierre, Montenac, and St. Philippe. Um, and in the original game, you had two key points of interest, which we'll go and explore as well. You've got the, the air base in the north, which used to be called Orion Base, if I remember correctly. And you also have the, um, the castle ruins uh, close to St. Pierre right here, and they're calling it Montfort Castle. So let's jump into camera view and we'll just start from St. Pierre and we'll move our way, I don't know, northwest through the island. Ooh, I'm in the water. Um, so we'll just increase the speed here, just a bit. So here's St. Pierre, um, very dock-like, pier town, that sort of thing. Kind of reminds me of some of the towns in Cherno Rush, um, in Arma 2. Uh, but we'll head northwest through the through the valley here and we're following that river that I was talking to you about earlier. Get some elevation up here in St. Pierre's Pass and then we're, we're entering now Levy, 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 um, which is here. We also have a military base here as well. If we continue more northwest, we'll pass La Runs and, you, and we were um, we were in low runs in my last series of videos in the tutorial. Um, and you can see that it does represent a little bit of the, like the French countryside once you get more northwest. Um, so there's Provence, Provence, Entre Deux, and then we reach Montenac, which is quite a large town, a uh, very countryside town, right? Um, you've got a lot of farmland, a lot of uh, industrial stuff over here on the west. Um, in the center, you've got this nice, you know, church slash cathedral type thing. Almost has a little bit of Prussian influence, right, with the steeple there. Possibly built later on after the Russians took over. Um, and we'll head even more northwest now through the through the island into Tyrone, Mieu. Saint Philippe, again another sort of mix between uh, Montenac and uh, Saint Pierre. Uh, it's kind of like a mix between a farm town and a, a pier town, which is kind of cool as well. So you get a little bit of variety there. Um, mostly countryside, and then we reach the the airport here. Um, the airport seems to have like two terminals. It's got a southern terminal and a northern terminal. The, the northern terminal seemingly the primary one with a decently large airstrip um, running north-south. So we'll head back 
down south, we'll take a look at that castle, which is down here at St. Pierre. If I can find it, here we go. There's Montfort Castle. Pretty cool setting, actually. You know, if you get up on this castle uh, turret, I guess, you can overlook St. Pierre there to the northeast. Uh, pretty neat. And it's even got some benches set up and a little, I don't know, food stand uh, because it's probably a tourist attraction now. What other things can we look at? Of course, there's these smaller islands um, over here, which are, which have some World War II sort of bunker fortifications, because I think in the lore as well, it was occupied by Nazi Germany during World War II, so you also have these sort of bunker fortifications that you'd expect to see on island nations. Um, we have another island over here, somewhat flat. Cool lighthouse. Be cool for a little mini scenario with a with a tiny hamlet, if you will. What else can we look at? There's also sort of the western side. Um, so if we start here in Morton Valley and head northwest from here, we've got Morton Stream, another sort of pier, but almost like a fishing village, more so than an industrial pier. into the valley. We've got some good woods here too, actually. Um, you know, we've got old wood here, so if we head down into this, we can sort of fly through here. One of the nice things to see is that a lot of these trees have, don't have a lot of low coverage, so you know, you can see through this forest quite well if you're on foot, which is always nice. You know, it's not, um, oh god, I can't remember that, uh, the, 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 new, the name of the new area in Arma 3 where you basically can't see in front of your face because the, uh, the tree cover is, tree cover is so thick. Um, I know, same thing here with this, with this valley. But then you can get into some more dense forest areas here. Nice little stream. And if we had more northwest, this little lake, Villa New, I'm trying my best. Humboldt Hill, Driftwood Sands. Another harbor town. So a good makeup of harbor towns seaside villages, and, um, you know, countryside villages. Let's see if there's anything underwater here. In Black Rock Bay. No, you can't really see much underwater. Oops. Oh my goodness, what did I just do? So that's about it for just like an introduction to Evron and the, the geography here. Let's take a look at it at night. That might be kind of cool. So we can change the scenario properties here. Uh, time and date, change it to midnight. <laughs> Not a lot to see. Let's head on to one of the bigger towns. So we'll go into, um, let's go into Montenac. Pretty dark as you would expect for the 1980s, right? If we get some aerial, an aerial view here. I don't know what the render distance is on some of this lighting. We'll head to uh, St. Philippe, or St. Pierre, I mean. Again, <laughs> not a lot of light. Your typical, you know, amber street lights and bright white street lights, that sort of thing. Turn the go back to daytime. Check out some some little weather features while we're here too. If you make it rainy. Oof. Let's get down into one of these towns. Hmm. It's pretty cool. 
We just pop into one of these houses real quick. <laughs> I mean, overall, this is running really smoothly. You know, I'm getting somewhere between 50 and 60 FPS as, a, as I just fly around this island. Change the time of day again. Anything else we can quickly check here? No, I, I think that's probably good for this video. Um, in the next video, we'll kind of experiment with, you know, plopping down some units, uh, plopping down some weapons, that sort of thing. Maybe do like a mock little battle, move one, if, it, if that's even possible. I don't even know if that's possible in Game Master in this, in, in Reforger. You know, maybe just pop some uh, Russian units on the south of Leve and some U.S. forces over here and have them both meet in the middle and see what happens. That might be a fun thing to do.